three dividend stocks to buy today that I personally cannot stop buying given their current share price, future trajectory, and of course, just their ability to deliver through on dividends that allow me to collect passive income. With that, are you ready? Now, as you may or may not know, I've been on a mission to trim my portfolio down to just seven to 10 holdings of high quality stocks that essentially rests on top of what I call an investment foundation with an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. And so far with this approach, less is more, it has been good, real good. The only real issue I've been having is when it comes to selectivity, whereas you need to be patient enough to be able to double down on your investments when they actually tank into the red territory. Now, before anyone out there cries, well, this guy's trying to time the market. No, I'm not. I'm consistently buying the S&P 500 every week, but when my high conviction stocks falter, I actually just load up on them. And that's where the patience comes in. Now, I have three stocks that are all trading in the red right now, and I want to go over them with you. So up first, we have Dart and restaurants ticker symbol DRI, which is a restaurant operator in the United States operating some of the most dominant chains from the Longhorn Steakhouse to the Olive Garden, the fancier chains like the Capitol Grill to Eddie V's. Now, personally, I bought Darden back in 2020 after the market tank, but restaurants, I mean, restaurants really were busted up for quite some time after 2020 and Darden has only proven itself well. However, more recently, as in just the other day, it actually slid from $164 per share down to under $160 per share after fears of the Fed not following through on rate cuts. Now, year to date, we can see it's in the red overall, but click out to the five-year view here where we're going to see over 41% worth of share price appreciation. And if we are to scroll down, I want you to note that Darden is a revenue machine with healthy revenue streams year in and year out. But the balance sheet is what really gets me here because that's what's most important and we're going to stay afloat here with Darden because that's incredibly healthy as well as we see that assets continue to exceed liabilities year over year totaling over 11 billion dollars in assets where liabilities just came out to 9 billion in 2024 however as for my personal take on Darden right now despite the recent scares and even downgrades from analysts I think we have to look at the bigger picture whether it's one year from now five years or ten years down the road people are going to forever enjoy the experience of dining out and creating memories as they go to their go-to restaurants. And I think Darden is just in the mix for all consumers on all budgets. So put it on your watch list. And especially as a dividend player, you're going to have a great opportunity with Darden for years to come, in my opinion. Now, if we take a look into Darden's metrics, we're going to go ahead and see that it will rate a 70 in terms of its safety on Simply Safe dividends. It boasts a solid 3.51% dividend yield. And scrolling down, we're going to discover that it has a bit higher of a ratio here in terms of a payout 60%, which makes sense when it comes to why we may not get growth well into the future. But right now, we can focus on that 23% growth rate that's averaging year in and year out. Now, Darden, we will see, is a qualified dividend stock. It is, in fact, going ex-dividend soon. So if you want to snag the dividend distribution, now would be your time to buy it. And a little bit more here from Simply Safe Dividends, we can, in fact, see that they are sharing it's reasonably valued according to their algorithms. Now, if Darden Restaurants is a bit too risky for you and you really just want to hone in on dividend growth, reliability, and certainty investors, I am telling you now to look into Visa, ticker symbol V, which I often speak about here in the channel, I know. But this video specifically is not about new stock ideas. It's what I'm doing. And I want to let you in on what I'm doing by buying Visa. Now, really quickly, my bullish case for Visa is one. It's a transaction facilitator without the risk of lending, which really means that if we all don't stop spending, Visa is going to be in business and business is booming. Two, Visa just came out the other day with news of a stable coin financing technology. And three, despite the near term antitrust lawsuits coming out against Visa, long term, the Visa business model is what's going to hold them up and keep them in good shape. So the time is now to nibble on the stock as it just slid over the last handful of trading days from nearly $280 per share to $200 and $73 per share. Now on the year, we do have this stock in the green and we can see though that it has been way up higher than where it is now at $290 per share. At the five year view, we're gonna see over 54% worth of appreciation. This is all just to say that Visa is a powerhouse that is a high quality company and a driving force behind our ability to smoothly function today as consumers. Now as for the dividend, you're gonna see the strongest of safety scores from Simply Safe Dividends coming in at 99 and likely because of 
of its smaller yield at just 0.76%, which does in fact mean it has room to grow, especially with its 22% payout ratio. Now, it has been on a dividend streak for the last 15 years, all while maintaining an average growth rate of 18%. Scrolling right on down, another qualified dividend player on our hands, and a stock again that's looking reasonably valued right now, according to Simply Safe Dividends, which if you're a Buffett type of investor is quite all right, as you would know that the value actually stems not from what you're paying today, but from what you're going to get over time. But investors, before I get to the next dividend gem, that has had my personal focus almost all year long and still has it. Well, I want to ask you to help me out by subscribing to the channel. And with that comes stock ideas every week, macro insights, and better Masters of the Market guests as we go on Masters of the Market. Of course, the name of the game here on the channel is growing this community, which just ultimately tells me I'm delivering through on information that you need, that you want, and desire. But speaking of, if this video did in fact do the trick for you, let me know by tapping on that thumbs up button so I just keep creating content just like this. And with that, we'll get back to it with alphabet ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, which I really won't waste too much of your time on introducing. However, I do want you to know this. The antitrust lawsuits quite like visas are the near-term noise. What matters most for alphabet lies in the future. And alphabet has always been and will forever be a advertising powerhouse. And their primary source of revenue comes in from advertising and search as we all know. But here's where I get really bullish on it. When interest rates keep coming down and businesses really get back to spending on advertising, well, not only is Google just the same old Google, but it's Google with AI. And I believe there's a real power and potential there for Google just to keep turning up that dial in advertising for all of these companies, and it's just going to keep on booming. So when I see Google hanging around $162 per share, I like what I'm seeing. It fell from $166 earlier this week. In the year, despite it all, Google soared by over 17% which all things considered is quite impressive, but even more impressive, tapping on the five-year history there, you're going to see over 168% worth of share price appreciation. And it all comes right down to the revenue that remains intact year over year, while Alphabet continues to harness one of the cleanest balance sheets that I personally have ever seen as a value investor. And we're going to see that that's over $400 billion in assets with only $119 billion in liabilities. But of course, it comes down now to the dividend as a dividend investor. To so tap into Simply safe with me. We're going to get a 0.49% dividend yield, small but mighty with a solid safety score of an 80. But best yet, we get this green means go undervalued mention there on Simply Safe dividends. Now, investors, these are my picks as we speak, my stocks in focus. I want to know what exactly you're buying or at least focused on. So let me know by commenting down below. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel. And from there, dive into a very recent chat I had with Opal Capital CEO, Austin Graff, who focuses on dividend stocks specifically. And then let me know what you think of that video as well. And I'll catch you in the next one.